Well, good evening. Good evening and welcome to Maripol. So I'm just on the promenade, just round from my house. And I thought, it's about time tonight. I got the tent back out. So I'm heading back up on the brows. I did a camp there a couple of years back, four years ago. May 2018, 20, no, it's five years ago. And I am lacking in camps in the last 18 months, two years. So it's high time, went out. So tonight, this will be my first one without Monty, of course. So it's just me and Penny. And we're gonna be in my little burg house tent. It's uh, Sunday the 11th of June, 2023. So it's got a little bit hazier and cooler, thankfully, because it's been an El Scorchio day. And if you can tell by the sound, I've switched back to my camcorder from me Casso machines because the sound is better. Does it really matter about being bumpy on the screen? No. Love the sounds of the seaside. Nice bit of sand here. It ties. If it's on its way in or out, possibly out. Right. Going away from the town. Just zoom over there. As you can see, the uh, little caravan park has been very populous <laughs> the last few years. It's extended from just 10 bays to 28 and 3 pods. It's well worth a visit. And out there is the uh, wind turbine, 7 miles out, separating us and Scotland. Dumfries and Galloway. And that's the sea brows. Now, halfway up there, going up here, there's a path called the Fairy Path, which uh, has got lots of little lights on, done by the scouts and that. It's very picturesque when it's lit up, but fortunately, some tosspot vandals have uh, cut all the lights, which isn't really acceptable. So it goes up onto the sea. In its here day, this was absolutely booming down here with the outdoor pool just further ahead here and those were the toilets that were used which obviously got vandalized but beyond there there's some nice seats there this is a simple potential now you've got parking here free parking make that into a lovely little coffee shop and give visitors something to come and you know go in here you've got lovely green this was once a putting green as well I mean, when you've got spectacular views like out to sea, obviously it's not as clear as it is usually, but you know, you've got great views. And as you can see, the end car park over there, <laughs> it's where a lot of camper vans tend to go for the night, but nobody moves them on. So yeah, this was our outdoor pool. Paddling pool is bottom here, it's now full of plants, and the top side as well. You know, a bit of initiative, we have got some money available which was which isn't getting used on the new swimming pool unfortunately in the town which is frankly a disgrace so the money needs to go somewhere and my personal opinion a splash pool would be lovely no it's really popular you know move some of these plants and get a splash pool in place and some higher fencing round because this did get vandalized yeah I keep using the word vandalized it frustrates the life out here. People do something nice and positive. And this little doylem just wrecked the place. Makes you sick. So up there, <laughs> on the top there, we used to slide down there on cardboard boxes when we were younger. <laughs> it was the right thrill. But as you can see, <laughs> there's been a bit of a, a slip, a landslip. So there's not as much uh, hill there now. So this is a a nice feature for the it's a mile and a half walk of this right along the promenade so this hut's been here for many many moons it got painted a year or two ago and a few additions so we've got a nice bench being put here remember it very day you know looking across there cracking views and 
local people featured, like the veterans. And schools getting involved, poppy days and stuff like that. Again, needless to say, smash glass vandalism. Just some people just cannot just behave themselves. It's sad. People make the effort. And these never used to be here, but these are a nice addition. A couple of little um, picnic benches. And often use that. Some great views out there on clear days. I'm going to look through that. And an artist impression. So directly across his uh, criffle in Galloway. Another feature of prom, what's been installed in the last couple of years, are these benches. And each bench has a print on. All Roman related, different names. This one's got Claudius II. The first of a series of tough soldier emperors who would eventually restore the empire died of plague, possibly smallpox. But yeah, there's loads of benches along here, all the way along till the end, and each one has a different Roman on it. So, possibly where we're looking now in this direction, I want to get up there. So I'm ending the uphill now, going to the brows. Believe it or not, I've never walked on this bit of path. So, there's the promenade down there. It's very, very peaceful. No wind. Could get a little bit midgy in land here. So I'm at the top now. I'm actually standing on the sty. It's quite long here, so I'm going to have to find a, a better pitch. There's nowhere to pitch really here. You can see in the distance. We've got the cemetery here, Medford Cemetery, Crosby. Now further along the course there is the uh, Roman, an old um, remains of a Roman fort. I went up a couple of years ago when I was on my bike to have a look. And there's a flat pitch out there, so that could be potential for a cheeky camp one day. And we're panning around towards Maryport, and there's our own battery, Alona, Alona, however you want to pronounce it. So we're going to walk along this path here now and see if there's a nice flat pitch. Well, I'm certainly near for a camp. I just wanted to stop here anyhow. And the sun's beaming through now. We've got a boat as well. There it is. So I'll get my tent pitched up. So I'm, I'm on the path. This is probably the best bit I'm going to get. It's quite dry, but it'll have to do. Hopefully, there'll be nobody about. It's one of these uh, arrive late, guy am early. There we are, the old Berghouse 3.1 set up again. There's absolutely no changes. I've bought no more camping stuff recently at all. I'm just going what I've got. Well, why not, eh? If it works, still works. Keep using it. I couldn't afford a new tent at the moment, anyhow. Well, I could, but... That's the setting. And the path, I hope nobody comes and walks along the path. I'll be probably up really early in the morning. As we looked out to the Solway. Very nice, there's the sun sneaking through the cloud. And Penny's quite happy on a Todd. So anyway. As you can see, I'm not drinking alcohol. Well, it's still Guinness, but it's Guinness Zero. And I can tell you, if you haven't tried it, give it a go. Give it a go. Especially if you're a designated driver anywhere. It's absolutely spot on. Pubs need to roll this out because it is the bee's knees of non-alcoholic drinks. But people will say, what's the point? 
it works as a placebo. I'd rather soak this in a pub than sit with a black current and water, to be fair. Just objective it being silly prices, that's all. So, ironically, this place is probably the first place I ever camped at, age 14. The things in your life that you remember and what was going on. I even remember what was on telly at the time. I think it was 1988 I was up here and I think it was the first 24 hour telethon. Absolute useless piece of information but it comes back to us that way. But yeah, that's, that's how I remember my first camp. It was a group of lads up here. I think it was a bit like less grassy and it was a much flatter at the time. Penny's enjoying the cell. Down here. It, uh, it's getting quite midgy because there's no breeze so I'm feeling a little itchy so I expect once I get home tomorrow I'll be a bit to shreds. <laughs> well, a late appearance from the sun. That's not bad timing over the Solway. Very nice, well worth waiting for that. And back again. I'm keeping the hand quite steady. Can't beat a top notch sunset like. It snuck through these clouds. Gorgeous. So the time is 9.38. And it's penny nicely chilled now. Hey, lass. Would you like to see him back? Will you miss his charisma? You all right? Flamboyant bubble of a man. I know, you probably miss Monte. We all miss Monte. Ah, uh, this is a first world camp without Monty like, so it's just us two today. So it's half ten. As you can see, it's cleared out a bit there over the Solway. You can see Criffle. It's much clearer now. I'll try and zoom in a bit, see what it picks up. There you go. It's a bit better. And you go further up. That's Silleth up there. The lights. And light, that's Crosby. Pan out. And visibility's getting a bit low now. And he's just having her last way of the night. <laughs> Bless her. She's been chilling in tent for the last hour. So look over to Maryport there. It's been a very pleasant evening. I think we'll turn in for the night now. Breeze come up so the midges have done one, thankfully. <laughs> Morning. Oh. Twenty past six. Woke about ten minutes ago. Overcast start to the day. So I'm just packing up. Still got the little special sleep mat, still works fine. <laughs> the only thing I thought was a pillow last night. Uh, I was quite flat sleeping. Oh, it is what it is. Uh, it's alright, it was up in the night, 3 o'clock at a pee. So I did pen. But she settled alright and had a good night. So we're just going to quietly pack up and Walk back down to my house. Well, it's everything packed up. You can just see where I've been there. No trace, no rubbish. All packed in the bag. Morning sun trying to get out. Got a crack with somebody who's been having a walk with the dog early on and having a scamper about in the meadow with the ball. So obviously Penny wasn't interested in that. Anyhow, Short walk home now. Well, there's a fine view of the harbour.
Just zoom in a bit. In the distance you can see the caravan park there, the blue building. There's a cafe. And there's plenty of vans still on the uh, caravan park. That's my next goal in life, get a camper van. Well, I'm just about home. Just at the top of Brow Street, Sea Brows. The church is getting renovated, it's going to be a museum. So I don't know how long the work will take on that. Money from the high street funds is going on that. There was also money allocated for a swimming pool in the wave centre over there. But now uh, the council, incidentally no councillors from Maryport voted this, but we're not getting a pool in it now, which is extremely disappointing. And that's been mild. So, as we walk down, Brow Street. So, in the last 12 months, renovations have been going on, Healy. I'm still under that scaffolding. My car down there. But work is taking shape. It should have been completed by now, but it's not, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to be patient and wait. Anyhow, we shall leave it at that. I've enjoyed the camp overnight and so has Penny. So, hopefully I'll do another one soon. So that's goodbye from me. And goodbye from Penny, who's just chilling out. See you up next time.